Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create this interesting multi-layered donut chart where we're trying to uh, identify the uh, sales by categories and how much of our sales have been achieved versus our target. So if you see over here, the blue uh, donut chart over here, we've achieved 99.6% of our targets versus 63.2% in our corporate uh, category. And what we have here is the total sales amount uh, of all these three categories combined. So um, this is what I'm going to teach you today. So let's get started with this tutorial. The first thing that I'm going to do here is let me change the wallpaper of the uh, report that I have over here. I don't need the white color. I need a different color, a little darker color. I have the hex code for the color exactly that I need, which I've pasted over here. And now I've got my wallpaper sorted for the report. And let me show you the data that I have over here. Let's go to segment and bring in the total sales amount so this is the total sales that i have by segment consumer corporate and home office and let us say that my target for all of these three categories is 1.5 million each okay so let's create a couple of measures over here i'm going to go here click on new measure and i'm going to create the uh, target here target uh, percentage is equals to total sales divided by 1.5 million which is this okay so once i have my target percentage i'm going to bring this over here and change this to percentage so it says that this is about 99.5 percent this is 63 percent and this is 39 percent now we will have to create another measure to identify the difference between our uh, target and what we have achieved so for that i'm going to go here and click on new measure so i'm going to simply uh, create the uh, target difference measure is equals to 1 minus our target percentage okay i'm going to press enter over here and bring in the new uh, measure that we've created so this is the difference that we have i'm going to quickly change this to percentage so we get the different values as well okay so now this is sorted so let us now go ahead and start creating our donut charts okay so i'm going to go here to my table on into the visualization and add this particular donut chart over here and bring in um target diff percentage and target difference that we just created okay and let's make some changes to this particular visual over here uh, before that uh, the numbers are not looking correct of course because we need we are identifying this by our um, category which is a segment. I'm gonna bring this here uh, onto the visual filter over here. Make sure to bring this onto your visual filter. And then I'm gonna select uh, home office here, for example. So we now got, this is what we've achieved, the target percentage, and this is what we are yet to achieve, okay? So let's go to the format visual and make some changes to this particular visual over here. I don't need the legend. I don't need the data label. I need the entire donut chart. I'm gonna go here into the uh, slicers and then the spacing. Let's change this to about 85, okay? And then let's also change the color of the target percentage. So let's say I need this particular uh, blue color and then on the target difference, I need this particular color over here. And let's also go to the general tab and the effects turn off the background, okay? So this is what we have now. And then we also don't need the title. So now once I have this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a copy of this and paste another visual over here and change this to card and make some changes over here to call out value. I'm going to change this color to white and also reduce the value here to 15 and um, come to category label and change this color to white and also reduce this to about 10 and let's come back to the visual over here and change this to home office because this is what we have over here okay so this is our home office and uh, this is what we've got so this is our label we will keep this over here and let's continue to work on this particular visual right now i'm going to copy this and create a duplicate of this and reduce the size of this donut chart to whatever size that you are happy you're happy till okay and then let's change the uh, filter over here from home office to corporate okay and then under format visual i'm going to come here to slices and select a different color let's say i want this green color to appear over here so okay so i've got that and now let's create a duplicate of this just Control c and Control v reduce the size to whatever to your liking and just bring this over here 
and let's change the uh, filter over here to consumer and also go back to the uh, uh, slices over here and change to whatever color that you would like to have. So I've now created all of these three layers and now let's bring in the total sales value over here and let me add this into a card and also get rid of the uh, background because I don't need the background. Okay, and then come back over here uh, and change this particular color to white and I don't need the uh, category label in this case. I'm going to reduce the size of this particular uh, visual over here and place this exactly over here so that we've got the values covered and the values do look, look quite big and so let's reduce that to about 30 so that it looks nice and neat. Okay, so once you have that, uh, we now need to uh, let's select all of these visuals over here right click and group these together okay and now uh, let us work on this particular uh, legend over here we need to add, add the legend because we need to identify which color belongs to which category so we'll go over here select shape i'm going to select this rounded rectangle over here and reduce the size of this particular rectangle i'm going to increase the uh, the viewing size of this particular report so that I can handle these images better. I'm going to put this over here which is under home office so make sure that they are in the same colors okay and I've now got this and then I'm going to copy this and make a duplicate of that and then copy this value or this shape over here and paste this over here and change the shape color to uh, the color that we have from the category okay so when we look at the uh, green here it is um, it is corporate so we'll select that and we now got the uh, corporate so we'll come back over here and change this value to corporate so that the value appears there correctly okay we now got corporate so we'll create a copy of this paste this over here make sure it is aligned properly and change this to a uh, consumer and also rename this to consumer sorry made a mistake consumer and c capital okay and then i'm gonna copy this and paste this over here align this into the right place go to shape sorry go to style and then change the color here to this ruby pink and now let's bring back to our original size uh, then we'll do this fit to page and now we've got our nicely created donor chart or multi-layer donor chart along with the uh, you know, legend over here and if you want you can simply select all of these together they are not aligned together for this tutorial but when you are creating it please do align it together and then you can group this and maybe reduce the size a little so that uh, you can play around with this and place it wherever you would like to and uh, so that it fits in better and looks nice and clean. So that's it guys in this particular tutorial. I hope this video has helped you. You've learned something new today. Please consider subscribing to my channel for more such tutorials.